I'm gonna need you guys to start taking advice from people who have some damn standards, okay? Y'all are getting all this weird advice from people who have low or no standards and you wonder why you're not getting any good quality men in your life. 95% of the advice from these married couples who have been together for forever is advice that you give to someone who is settling. I don't want to hear shit from anybody who tells me that marriage is hard work because you make it sound like a fucking prison sentence. I'm not taking advice from anybody who tells me that I'm too picky and my standards are too high. I'm not taking advice from anybody who tells me you're too old and the clock's a ticking. I'm not taking advice from anybody who tells me you can't expect somebody to be perfect. And that's definitely true, but there's a difference in imperfect human quirky flaws and somebody flat out disrespecting you. I'm not taking advice from somebody who tells me, oh, you should get married so we can double date. You should get into a relationship so we can double date. It's like you can care less if it's a quality relationship as long as we can post that we're on a double date on Facebook. I'm not taking advice from anybody who tells me to give the ugly guy a chance or the nice guy a chance or the broke guy a chance because at the end of the day, they're all guys. And those three types of men tend to screw you over the worst. Don't take advice from anybody who tells you that you're selfish because you don't want to have children. I'm not taking advice from somebody who tells me I need to give everybody who asks me a chance because you never know and let everybody waste my time. I'm not taking advice from anybody who tells me that I need to be more flexible and understanding. It changed my life when I took advice from women who stood on business. It changed my life when I took advice from women whose husbands practically worship the floor and the ground that they walk on, whose husbands think that they hung the moon and the stars. It changed my life when I took advice and listened to women who would only date men who were financially fit, not talking about they have to be wealthy or anything, but they have their stuff together financially and they're not out here trying to panhandle women for money. It changed my life when I stopped giving chances and being understanding and making allowances for people's disrespect you get one time and you're out of here. There are so many women who know they're in horrible relationships, so they wanna convince you that you should get into a horrible relationship so they can feel less alone for the fact that they are remaining in a horrible relationship. Because what? Misery loves company, okay. And I forgot to add, it also helped change my life when I took advice from women who told me to stop being so freaking desperate, to be okay with being single, and to just enjoy my life, and I'll admit, at first it was like, I'm so tired of people telling me to just focus on myself and enjoy my life. If I focus on myself anymore, I'm never going to meet them. I'm tired of it. Because you're focusing, thinking that that's the magic secret to make this amazing man pop up into your life. Honey, you're focusing on yourself for you because you're the only person living your life. Because even if you get that amazing Prince Triming, if he wakes up and decides to leave you for Snow White, if you've kept your life in order and prioritized yourself, it's going to still hurt. It might still break your heart, but at least your life won't also be in shambles. It will change the caliber of men that you date and it will kind of filter out all the riffraff when you actually stop being desperate and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna be single. I don't care how long it takes. I am not going to just date anybody. It changes things when you're like, these are my standards and that's it. You stop sitting around saying, I'm so tired of being lonely, I just want somebody. And granted, for a lot of you guys, it's normal to feel that way, okay? At one point, I felt that way too about being single. I thought it was freaking miserable. But then thinking that way also runs you the risk of just settling for somebody. You, if your life is miserable, guess whose fault that is? Yours! But Jules, you don't understand, it's so sad. Okay. Okay, well sitting around and crying, how's that working out for you? You're still either single or in a very depressing relationship. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the next second is not promised to anyone, okay? The fact that you're still sitting here looking at me on this phone is a miracle in and of itself. And you mean to tell me that you're going to let any boo come into your life and waste that precious resource that is your life, time that you can never get back, also that you can change your relationship status on Facebook. Girl, you have lost your ever-loving mind. You don't just magically start living your best life when you get a man. 
if anything, they make your life fucking worse. I mean, there's a very small percentage of women who actually have men who make their lives better, but you do yourself a huge disservice when you have this attitude of your life won't begin until you get into a relationship and you spend all your time up until that point being depressed and miserable. You could be out here pursuing your dreams. You could be out here volunteering and making the world a better fucking place, but you're sitting around on your damn sofa crying because some loser doesn't want you to be his girlfriend because you're not married yet. Just like all of your other friends and half of them are going to wind up divorced and the other half of them have settled. Sure. You can sit around and cry and fantasize about the day that you meet this magical, mystical one. Or you can get out there and start fucking living in the meantime. You can get out there and stop, start volunteering and helping bring some sunshine into somebody else's life. Or, like I said, you can just continue to sit around and be miserable and wait to be picked.